Hydrogen and fuel cell technology is nothing new for Toyota, and in fact, our first fuel cell car was on the road as early as 2002. For Toyota, cars are the tip of the iceberg. Hydrogen can be used for powering buses, trucks, heavy haulage transport, but also potentially trains and ships, even your own home. Hydrogen and fuel cells are a central part of the transition to net zero. Hydrogen allows us to store renewable energy and transport it in a light fashion where it can be used on demand. And unlike batteries, they can store energy for long periods of time. And so when they go into vehicles like the Mirai, you can refuel and have long distance very quickly. Bramble Energy make hydrogen fuel cells, but not in the traditional way. We make them from the printed circuit board industry. Mirai is an electric car, but not in the sense of how you'd understand an electric car. Its electricity is generated by the hydrogen and it's fueled in a conventional manner, just as you'd understand from filling your petrol or diesel car. It takes minutes. We thought, wouldn't it be fun to apply that technology, but in a totally different way? Tamir is a uh, Japanese manufacturer of scaled models and radio controlled cars and they have a fantastic heritage that dates back to the 1940s. We've taken two of our really popular radio controlled cars and converted them to hydrogen fuel cell powered vehicles. The thing that makes it really special and interesting is taking a radio controlled car that you can buy in a shop and actually convert it to some innovative technology so the runtime is that much better, but we haven't lost any of the actual performance that's synonymous with Tamiya. So this is a real game changer in, in actually how long you can have fun with the equipment. Traditionally, fuel cells are quite difficult to miniaturise, and making a big stack is quite easy. Making them smaller is actually more challenging, and so we had to shrink a whole fuel cell system down into the size of a RC car, which gave our engineers a good challenge. The great ability of our fuel cell technology is we can make it any size or shape we want. The biggest challenge was to get all of the system components in order to make a fuel cell run small enough and compact enough so that it could go inside the Mirai shell. The key advantage to the system we put in this RC car is range, so we're able to double the battery life with our RC system. The fact that we've managed to scale it down to a one-tenth scale model is really impressive and it really suggests there's lots of other innovative and exciting ways you can apply the technology within the toy and hobby space. With the launch of the new Mirai, it's a real commitment to the technology by Toyota. And in fact, we'll increase production of hydrogen fuel cells tenfold from this year. Infrastructure is a really tricky question when it comes to hydrogen. Ultimately, heavy goods vehicles that want to travel long distances are going to require hydrogen to be powered in the future. And that means infrastructure is going to come. And so when it does, it will be able to be used for every other form of transport as well. It shows what can be achieved in terms of zero emissions vehicles. In fact, the only emission from Mirai is pure water. The thing I really like about the Mirai is just the novelty of it, the fact that it's new technology. Hydrogen is one of the more abundant elements in the universe, so it's great that Toyota are leading the way in, in, in applying this to a road car. We've been running a first-gen Mirai around for over a year. I've done tens of thousands of miles in it, and it's fantastic. It's a good way of showcasing the technology. Speaking to the guys in the team this morning and the drivers, they said the, the cars have been fantastic and really performed really well and obviously in such an amazing setting. <laughs>